Welcome to another video by Veros Technology. Today we're going to talk about how to make macros that put menus on the ribbon bar or in the context menu. So let's get started. The first step of the process is to build your list of commands that you want on your context menu or your menu bar. So let's go in edit view, design view here. And so what I've added is a print command and the print command is just a run menu command object. And you know, you're just printing the object that's on the screen. The next one is refresh. And I just did a refresh record because that is a macro by itself. And then I put on here a close command. So close window, the object type in this case is going to be a form. And the form I'm going to going to attach this macro to is the call, a form contacts. Okay. Now I do have another sub macro in here, export to. I'll show you how I built that sub macro first before I bring you back here to show how you implemented it. The next piece is to go look at that submenu command. What I wanted to do is create a submenu and the submenu is listed here on this export to. So I'm going to create a sub macro here, but it's going to contain these submenu commands. Now the submenu commands are, are deliberately meant to embed themselves underneath another menu because they're related to each other. So what I wanted to do is create an export from the table that we're working with to a text file. And down here, the uh, option here is exporting that same table to an HTML document with formatting. With the two different ones, though related, I wanted to then put them underneath the rest of the other menu commands to add a menu in here. Now, the add menu command is also the command I'm going to use in the next macro to begin the implementation of all of these commands. So here I have added a menu and that's shortcut submenus command, which is this shortcut submenus command right here. To implement it, we have to create yet another macro to actually add the submenus to the menu. So we have an add menu item in macros. You tell it what you want to name that macro, and then you tell what the macro is named in the application that you're working on. So that is going to be this one right here, shortcut menu commands. Now, remember the hierarchy of the way things are working is this sub menu is embedded in the menu commands. And the menu commands is now embedded in the add shortcut menu. Now the add shortcut menu is what I'm actually going to use to attach to a form and other places. So let's see how we did that. And now I'm going to go to the form that I want to use to demo this. If I right click anywhere, it has the normal, you know, context menu that you get whenever you're anywhere in a, in a form for the particular item that you're uh, clicking on. So what I want to do is I want to modify both a menu item up here on the ribbon menu, and I want to show you how to implement it as a right click context menu as well. So let's click on design view. And if I want to implement it in here, uh, the next thing I have to do is look at the property sheet on the property sheet. You go to the other tab and on the other tab, you see that you have a shortcut menu. Yes. That allowed me to right click and get a shortcut menu and it's, you get the default shortcut menu set at the application level. And then you have a menu bar that you can put in here and you have a shortcut menu bar. Now the shortcut menu bar is the right click context menu bar that you're used to using. Um, and this has to be set to yes to get any of the shortcut menus. We're going to type in macro add shortcut menu. And so if I do this and I save it, and then I look at the form view, what you'll see up here is a menu called add-ins. And what it has done is it's added your ribbon to an add-ins menu 
And if I click here, here's our form commands menu that we, you know, we named it form commands. When we click the down arrow here, we have print, refresh, and close. And this special export too that we embedded in our commands in that first macro is here to export to a text file or an HTML file. So these can exist and reside up here. Now, when I decide to close this form though, that notice that menu goes away. So this menu is currently at only the form level. So you would have to work to put it on each object that you wanted to, whether you had to add it to a form or a report, but you would have to, in order to do that, add it to each object. Now, the next thing I want to show you is now that we have it on a specific form, let's go ahead and check and see if we can do a context menu on that same form. So let's open it up again. Right now we're still getting the same normal default context menu. So let's go about adding this to the form on the property sheet down here in the shortcut bar menu. So I can add it here as well. And when I hit the save button and close it on this menu now, on this form, when I right click, I get that same menu as a context menu now. And it's still up here in, as form commands in the ribbon. Now, if I go to a different form, like I go to my main menu, let's say, when I right click here, I get the normal default menu because it, right now it's just attached to that one form. If I wanted to attach it globally, I would go up here and click on File and go down to Options. And you go to Current Database and you scroll down till you get to Ribbon and Toolbar Options. And you can, ha you can change here the right-click menu, the context menu. And then when you click OK, it's going to tell you that you have to close the database and reopen it. So we'll go ahead and do that. So here we've opened the database again. Let's look at the main menu where we had the normal context menu. If I right click now, I get the context menu that is now attached globally and it'll appear now on all forms. Now it doesn't appear up here because remember, the, to put it on this ribbon, you have to attach it to each form that you want it to appear on the menu for, because it's doubtful that you'll have a particular context menu, in this case, unless you modify it, uh, or a particular ribbon menu that you'll want on everything. So it's probably not likely that you're going to use it at the global level, but there is where you would change it if you do have a particular context menu that you do want to use globally and restrict your users from certain uh, maybe design views or other such things and right clicking uh, elements on your form. So if you've gotten something valuable out of this video, please hit the like button and uh, let's send it out to, to more people. And I hope to see you again on the channel later. Thanks.